This video will explain what Tinkercad can do and help you understand some key concepts needed to draw on Tinkercad, like views and dimensions. Open the Tinkercad Dimensions and Views worksheet and answer the questions when you are instructed to do so on the video. I repeat, you have to answer the questions on this worksheet in Google Classroom as you're watching the video in order to receive credit. Please Google Tinkercad and then open this app. When Tinkercad opens, you'll see an option of sign in or join now. If you're like me, you have already joined Tinkercad and you can click the sign in and then sign in with Google. However, if you haven't already joined Tinkercad, then please click join now. Once you clicked join now, you're going to click create personal account. It's easy from here, just click sign in with Google. And then when it asks you to choose an account, choose your school email and this screen should open. Tinkercad is free and can be used on your Chromebook. There are other 3D drawing programs that are free or some that you have to pay for. Some examples are SketchUp, Autodesk Inventor, and Fusion 360, just to name a few. Here you can see some of my simple 3D drawings in Tinkercad. Some important concepts to understand when using Tinkercad are dimensions and views. Let's first talk about dimensions. When you think about dimensions, ask yourself, what measurements would you need to take in order to fit an object into a space? For example, what measurements would you take to see if a cell phone case fits your phone? First, you need to measure the height of your phone case. Then you need to measure the width of your phone case. And lastly, you need to measure the depth of your phone case. Looking at the picture of the phone case with its dimensions labels, can you identify the width of this phone? You got it, 3.25 inches. How about the depth of this phone? Yeah, the depth is 0.5 inches. And lastly, could you identify the height of this phone? Write your answer next to number one on Tinkercad dimensions and worksheets and tell me the height of this phone. Again, please don't forget to fill out this Tinkercad dimensions and views worksheet it might be found in Google Classroom, or you might be given a hard copy, whatever your teacher uh, decides to do, but you need to fill it out for full credit. So a three-dimensional objects has three dimensions. Sometimes this is known as 3D, D standing for dimensions. So now I just want you to name the dimensions. They're named here on the cube, and I've given one of them. One of them is height. So one of the dimensions that we always measure for is height. What are the other two? Just fill in the blanks. Another important concept in Tinkercad is views. Let's look at the picture of this black die. A die has six sides. In Tinkercad, we call each side a view. With many 3D drawings, you can only see three of the six views, and that's true in this case. A side or view of a die is labeled with dots, as we all know, and the dots represent numbers. In this case, we can only see three different views of the die. One of them is top. The top is right here. What number is on the top of this die? Yes, one. This die also shows the side view, the right side view. That's represented right here. This is the right side view of this die. What number do you see? on the right side view of this die. Yeah, it's five. And lastly, this die shows us the front view. That's right here. What number can you see on the front view of this die? Yeah, the answer is three. So let's look at a second die. And this die also shows three views, top, right, and front. What I'm asking you to do is write the number that represents each view, the top, right and front view. Pause this video if you need to before we move on to the last question.
As you can see, both pictures of the dice show three views, top, right, and front. But as you know, a real die actually has six sides or six views. I bet you can figure out the other three. Let's just think it through. We know there's a top view, so there must be an opposite view. What's the opposite of top? Yes, bottom view. So a die has a top view and a bottom view. There's also a right view, so there must be a, yep, left view. And lastly, there's a front view, so of course there must be a, yes, of course, back view. So on your worksheet, on number four, please name the six views. One of them is top, you just need to fill in the other five. And of course, turn in this worksheet at the end to receive full credit for your work.